This is the most overpowered defense in Madden 24. It shuts down the run. Gets instant sacks. And interceptions all game. So if you want to see what overpowered new defense I'm using in results like this, Woo! stick around after the intro. The For the fastest, cheapest, most reliable coins on the market, check out my coin sponsor MMOXP.com and use discount code MONEYSHOT to get 5% off your order. Link in the description below. The plays from today's video can once again be found in my Denver Broncos Offensive and Las Vegas Raiders Defensive eBooks. If you guys want more help, you can download these or any of my eBooks simply by clicking links in the description or the top pinned comment. This is going to be my last gameplay with the Giants before I move on to another team, and in my first game I'll be playing against what's probably the best offense in Madden in the Kansas City Chiefs. Let me know in the comments section what teams you guys would like to see me use next week. And if you're enjoying the content and want to see more defensive Whoa. schemes like this, please make sure to be a subscriber, hit the like button, let me know in the comment section as it really helps out the video and the channel, and I really appreciate the support i started this game out on offense or at least i would have if i didn't take the opening kick back to the house for a quick seven nothing lead what? he could go all the way on defense, since my opponent is most likely going to pass a lot with the Chiefs, I start this game out in the big nickel over G as I think this defense will allow me to get more speed on the field to match the Chiefs' offense. But it doesn't matter as my opponent goes right down the field on me anyways and scores on a big pass play over the middle against my cover six. Damn it! So I'm going to want to switch formations on the next drive so I can have better run defense and get more pressure. On offense, I'll once again be using my I-form close scheme as this is one of the hardest offenses to stop in the game. But I'll mostly be focusing on defense in today's video. I recently put out a full breakdown of this offense though, so if you guys want to see more, I will leave a link in the description as well as on screen at the end of the video, so stick around for that. I start this drive out by pounding the rock as this is a run first scheme, and my opponent is also running the big nickel over G defense. But I go right down the field on my opponent the exact same way by chipping away on the ground with the run before breaking an explosive play and scoring on a very long touchdown. So the big nickel over G defense failed us both on the very first drive for different reasons. I haven't learned my lesson yet though as I start the next drive in the big nickel over G once again and my opponent dashes it on the ground for a very big play. And since my opponent had a lot of success running on the first drive, I decided to switch over to what is probably my favorite defense for most of the year in the 3-4 odd. As this defense's size and spacing should help me control the run game better as well as get more pressure on the quarterback despite the offensive personnel packages and potential mismatches. For my coaching adjustments, the most important one to have set is to put your zone coverage to match for tighter coverage and to leave your zone coverage coverage drops to default as I'll be using a lot of matching zone coverages in today's video. I'll also be using a lot of different coverages but I don't want my opponent to be able to read them so I'll always put my auto alignment to base so that I can hide them pre-snap. For my four audible plays in this scheme my favorite blitz is still the pinch bug zero even though this play was specifically mentioned in the October update as an exploit play that was patched. But it can still be one of the fastest blitzes in the game, just with a very different setup. My favorite base defense is probably the cover 6, even though this is not a fully matching cover 6 like the cover 6 trap that I put out for the Big Nickel Over G was. But it is still the best zone coverage in this formation. I also use the cover 4 quarters for my best run defense and also around the goal line. I start to drive out with the cover 6 as this is my favorite base defense when I'm not sure if my opponent's going to run or pass. There's a lot of different setups you can do from this defense, so once again I made a practice mode style breakdown for this entire scheme. and I once again, I have links in the description as well as on screen at the end of the video if you guys want to see more. But for run defense, I usually like to pinch the defensive line by hitting the D-pad to the left and down to close up any inside run lanes. And I also like to spread the linebackers by hitting the D-pad to the right and up so that they can get outside leverage on the tackles and tight ends and maintain the edge. But when I see Mahomes making a lot of audibles like he's Peyton Manning or something, Omaha! 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 I figure that he is setting up a pass play, so I immediately switch to the pinch bug zero. This play has multiple setups that you can do as well, but I don't want to risk getting caught doing the full setup here since I don't know when he is going to hike the ball. So I only do half a setup that is still really effective by using the linebacker assigned to the running back, putting him on a blitz, and hovering the guard gap before dropping back after the snap. This is not as good as the full setup, but it will do for now as the natural spacing of the default alignment does a really good job of maintaining run lanes while also doing a good job of creating enough space 
space to allow the blitzers to get pressure. I just have to make sure that the guard doesn't grab me as I will have to cover the running back if he goes down a pattern. And that's exactly what happens here, but you can see that the other blitzing linebacker does get in relatively free to the opposite B gap, which is what I want even though there wasn't enough space for him to get in fast enough. He predictably quick throws to the running back, but I peel off of the block and get a stop quickly enough before he calls a hurry up to run the next play. Luckily, there isn't too much setup to this defense, but I have to switch to the pinch bug zero since I came out in cover six. I try to do the full setup this time by spraying the defense, but he hikes the ball halfway through and the blitzing linebacker shoots the gap anyways to get the stop at the line of scrimmage. In the past, the pinch bug zero is best if you pinch the entire defense, or at the very least the linemen and the linebackers, as this would get several edge rushers off the edge very quickly. But since the October 4th update patched that and made the offensive linemen do a better job of picking that up, now all I have to do is the exact opposite. Instead of pinching everyone, now it's best to spread everyone, including the linemen and linebackers. I'm still going to use whoever's man to the running back and bluff blitz him the same way I did on the first play before dropping into coverage, but now that I have the full setup in, the angle of the blitzing linebacker is much better, as this angle hides behind the defensive tackle and then screams in right through the B-gap for an instant sack. Even with the halfback blocking as he runs right past him. If we watch that again, the reason for that is simple as the running back is most likely thinks that he has to pick me up since I put myself on a blitz on his side. But truthfully, the pass block function for running backs is also just not very good as the check and release option just works better in pass protection. And now on 4th and 13, my opponent hurries me up again and I set the blitz up the exact same way. I also man aligned on the last two plays since he is in trip set. So while I don't want to show my coverage, I really don't have a choice here. I don't want to allow too much space off the line of scrimmage. And I'm pretty certain that the pressure is going to get home before he gets the pass away anyway. Bring that ass here, boy. Back on offense, I know I got a chance for a rage quit here. So in the very next play, we take the stretch run to the house with some fancy stick work to, the metal, then stop. Do it. to end the game. See ya. In my next game, I am playing against another team that I plan to use at some point this year in the Atlanta Falcons, as this is another really good sleeper team with a good run game. On the very first play, I start with the pinch bug zero once again with the exact same setup, and this play's run defense can really be hit or miss, as we get a stop for a two-yard loss, as the blitzing linebacker can usually shoot the gap to get stops against inside runs. Before he hurries me up and hits the fullback uncovered to get to third and short, before I manually sniff out a screen to get him to a fourth and six that he decides to go for. <laughs> From here, I go back to running the ball from the I-form close once again before switching to the speed out route to get the first down. And for some reason, he decides to come out in what looks like a dollar formation on the very next play, giving up huge run lanes inside for another easy score. Back on defense, I go to the pinch bug zero once again, and like I said earlier, how this run defense can really be spotty, as the cornerbacks typically drop back to cover fake routes before getting blocked, leaving you very vulnerable on outside run defense, as this is probably the worst run defense in the formation. <laughs> My best run defense and the defense I like to use in red zone and goal line situations is the cover for match, as the safeties will play the run first like a nine-man run commit as long as you don't guess pass. Another reason I use this in the red zone, though, is because the matching safeties will spread out and fill the entire end zone making it very hard to thread the needle and pass from here as my opponent goes for two and the pass gets smothered by multiple defenders. Back on offense, I'm going to use a passing concept that I put out in just yesterday's video as this route gets open against anything as long as Daniel Jones can make the throw before I go back to pounding the rock as nothing can stop this offense if you run it right. On third and one, I can really do anything here, but I decide to take the underneath throw to get the first before I get back to the halfback stretch and finish the drive untouched from almost 40 yards out. Oh, shit, that's just too easy. Now up eight, since he mostly ran on me in the last drive, I switched to the cover six defense to kick my run defense up a notch. <laughs> Your ass down. When I see that he chooses a three wide receiver cell in the next play, I take that the me is going to pass, so I call the pinch bug zero one more time and set it up to send the house. And of course he runs the ball again to the outside and gets another big first down. So I go back to the cover six setup as I'm really just trying to pick my times to blitz a little bit better and we get to stop again. I stay in cover six in the next play and now we get no pressure as my opponent takes off for the first down with his quarterback. But at least nothing was open. I stay in cover six on the next play as well, and this time he has to hold the ball long enough to get a coverage sack to knock him back to second and 20. He has to pass now as he comes out in an empty backfield look, so I send the house again as it looks like my secondary is double teaming everybody as we almost had an interception to force a critical third and long that he converts on a deep crosser before hurrying me up and doing it again to get inside of the red zone and trying to turn back into a runner. So I call the cover six defense on the very next play. 
and this defense confuses him into throwing an interception right on the goal line to end the threat. Gotcha, bitch! Smelling another rage quit with only about a minute left before half, I decided to switch up to a more pass-heavy offense to try to save time and get down the field in a hurry in my gun-wing flex offset scheme. And on the very first play, we get a big play outside of his cover two man, which really looks like a prevent at this point, as he is daring me with some huge run lanes, so I switched to the inside zone the next play to get a few yards, to get into a fourth and two that I decided to go for. And he comes out in that tiny defense once again as we pick it up on the ground easily, as we complete another big pass on the next play and get out of bounds with 57 seconds left already in field goal range. But I want a touchdown as I'm trying to force a rage quit here. He gets me into a third and 10, so I have to throw over the middle for the first down to use my last time out. With 38 seconds left though, I play very cautiously to not make a mistake Nope. before hitting the tight end over the middle one more time in the end zone. But my opponent doesn't rage quit yet as he takes one more desperate shot to try to score quickly. So that's it, that's the video. If you guys want to see more about the offenses and defenses that I was using in this game, I will have links to them popping up on screen. And until next time, thanks for watching, man. Make sure out. Need more help or just want to show your support? Then head over to my Patreon and join my team, where you can get exclusive content like ebooks and bonus plays, as well as early access to my vids and more. Link in the description below.